Hello there, dear viewer. In this video, you will be taken on a brief tour of the remote administrator bundled with the Bitdefender security for Unisys Suite. Remote Administrator allows you, the system administrator, to configure most of the settings of the product in a friendly manner, all just a few clicks away. Veteran users, which are familiar with older versions of Bitdefender, will surely notice the dramatic changes which Remote Administrator went through. Remote Administrator comes now with a completely new, revamped interface, which emphasizes on Ajax and dynamic content. Also, the graphic design has suffered a complete overhaul over the old Remote Administrator. Following the login procedure, you are presented with the general status of the Bitdefender daemons. On the top side, you will notice several tabs which will provide you with different pieces of information or allow you to make changes to the configuration of the product. Each tab has a set of options, which are shown in the left panel under the Bitdefender logo. This panel will change depending on which tab is selected from the top side panel. One of the not-so-obvious features introduced in this version of Remote Administrator is the 5-second refresh interval of the interface, which means that on some pages you may see the progress or changes almost in real-time, as they are happening. For example, if you restart the Bitdefender daemons by clicking the Restart button, you will notice the statuses of the daemons changing as they are being restarted, like this. Compared to the older versions of Remote Administrator, the verbosity of the information provided has been increased in order to further ease the gathering of information. For example, on the About page you can see the descriptions and exact versions of all the binaries, libraries and plugins of the product. This can be valuable information, for example when you need to submit a technical support request. Group management is one of the powerful features that the Bitdefender Security for Unisys suites offer, and to tame that power, a dependable user interface is needed. Group management can be accessed from the Policies tab. Depending on which product you have installed, you will see the Mail or HTTP options in the left panel. Using its interface, you will be able to configure and manage groups, and the specific settings for each group, like antivirus, anti-spam, content filter, and SMTP forwarding. The default group is always there and it cannot be deleted or moved. You can add new groups using the New button. For user-created groups, a list of recipients or senders can be defined in order to match it. The groups are being examined for matching a rule in the order they appear in that list. If no user-created group matches, then the default group policy is enforced. You can change the order in which the groups are examined by dragging them in the position you wish them to appear in the list, like this. Quarantine management has been reworked and now has a more comprehensive search interface. No longer do you need to search manually for a specific file that has been thrown into the quarantine. The new search filters offer a very fine-grained search system, which makes working with quarantine files very easy and friendly. You can also download the selected quarantine files as an archive, directly from the web interface with a single click.
Of course, quarantine settings can also be changed here and the new settings take effect right away. Global product configuration can be done in the components tab. The options in the left panel will be available depending on which products you have installed. For the purpose of this video, Mail and Samba are visible in the left panel. For the Mail server's product, you can configure message marking based on char sets, configure real-time blacklist servers, set base and filters training parameters and configure the SMTP proxy. For the file servers or Samba product, the default antivirus action can be set. It's as easy as drag and apply. Every administrator knows that software needs to be maintained, and Remote Administrator offers you just what you need in order to keep Bitdefender well fit using the maintenance tab. This tab has four options, all of which allow you to set up critical parts of the product. An out-of-date antivirus or anti-spam product is next to useless, so in the live update page you can check or change the settings regarding how often the product updates itself, or set a mirror close to you if you wish. Also shown here is information regarding the current version of the antivirus and anti-spam core and signatures. A manual update can always be started from here when desired. The Patches page keeps track of security or enhancement patches released by the Bitdefender team. If you have activated it during setup, a notification will also be sent to you when patches are being released. Whether you are a very busy person who cannot focus the attention on the product all the time or you just want to have a deputy or two who keep track or configure parts of the product for you, the remote administrator offers you the solution. Newly introduced is the ability to have multiple user access remote administrator, each one with their own username, password and permissions. You can add as many users as you wish and grant them a vast suite of permissions. You can then delegate several users to keep track of each piece of the product without them being able to use their powers for evil purposes when they have no business. Remote Administrator offers you fine-grained permission tuning for each user.
The last part of the maintenance tab regards the global proxy, which Bitdefender should use whenever it needs to access the Internet, for example, when updating itself. HTTP proxies, with or without authentication, can be used, and the domain can be specified if the user is part of one, for example, when using Active Directory for authentication. This concludes the first part of the Bitdefender Remote Administrator Tour, but join us on the second part.